Hi, this is Gareth. Today, I'm going to teach you how to do stick bounce. This is what it looks like. It's a pretty cool trick. So how do you learn this? If you think about the motion of the stick, if you hit the surface of the drum or practice pad, and then let go of the stick, it's going to go down towards the ground with this sort of motion. What we're going to do is provide a pivot point for the stick to bounce off. And after, catch it. A common misconception with this trick that people often have is that you're hitting and throwing. That's not what we're doing. It's using the momentum of the stick to allow it to fly up and then catch it afterwards. You're going to want to hold the stick in a balanced spot to do this. If you're too far back or too far forward, it's not going to be the same. You really need to be holding it in the right spot for it to bounce correctly. Now there's a variation of this that you can try if you can get that. And this is where we're going to let the stick really fly up in the air. Now to do this, we provide the slightest push to it. Usually we'd just be holding our hand there, allowing the stick to bounce off it. This time, we give it a slight push. This allows it to fly up in the air, and it can go really high if you like. Right? Just giving it a little push to assist with that. Here it is in slow motion, so you can see how it's going up in the air. So here's some tips for you for practicing stick tricks in general, including this one. When you practice them, maybe go outside and do them on the grass or do them on a carpeted area. There's a couple of reasons for this. If the stick hits the hard floor, it's going to make noise and annoy people around you. And also, the sticks will tend to roll away from you, whereas they won't be doing that on carpet or grass. Second thing is try to have some sticks on hand so that when you drop the sticks, which you will when you're practicing any type of stick trick, you can just grab the next one and keep practicing. Last, try using different size sticks so you get used to working with different thicknesses and weights and lengths. And it's just going to make it easier for you in general when doing all sorts of stick tricks and controlling the sticks properly. I hope this has been helpful. If you have any questions, write them in the comments below and I can get back to you with any help I can give you. It's not going to come to you easily. You need to work on this. But you will get it if you keep working. Good luck.